today we are on a repointing job so i thought i'd take this time to explain to you guys how i like to tackle my repointing uh, and that will be chasing out all of the old mortar joints and then putting the new mortar in so first of all we need a selection of tools there's tools you need and tools i recommend so i recommend a wall chaser with a dust shroud and hoover attachment you could also do with having a hoover if you've got a dust attachment to your grinder this is a really dusty job so having a hoover to catch all of the dust is really important if you haven't got that a grinder just like this a four inch grinder like this will do but there will be a lot of dust so just bear that in mind now tools you need or ppe you need is a really decent mask we're using this one it catches 99.5 percent of all dust particles some really decent ear defenders some goggles to stop any shrapnel going in your eye and then some decent gloves i'm using these ansel gloves they're pretty decent and they're waterproof meaning they are also dust proof because the dust from old mortar gets on your hands and makes it really dry the cutting depth we're going to be trying to achieve is about 28 millimeters um, for when we initially grind out the joints. So you can achieve that, achieve that really easily using a grinder or you can just set your wall chaser to that correct depth. So again, it's really easy to do with one of these, but they will set you back a few quid. And finally, before we start cracking on, a couple more tools you might want to actually get the mortar in. So depending on what finish you're going for and things like that, you'll either use a pointing bar, you'll see this sort of pointing on a lot of new builds, or Weber struck pointing, what you'll see on a lot of old builds. Now, to actually push the mortar in, I like to use a hawk and a flat bar. You put your mortar on there, you put it up to your joint, and you just push it in like that. And then you can go over with a pointed bar. Anyway, for now, we're gonna crack on, get this grinding out, come back to you in a little bit. Right, so we've ground out all of our joints to a pretty suitable depth and we just hosed everything down and gave it a light brush with some water. Adding moisture to the back of the mortar joints and the bricks just helps my new mortar bond to the brickwork pretty easy. Anyway, so getting the mortar in is really simple. We're using a hawk and a flat bar. Just a quick one, this is a lime mortar mix, 3.5 NHL. Uh, one part lime, three part building sand, just because of that is what this has already been done with. And I want the colours to match the existing building. As you can see, it's quite yellow. So putting the mortar in is really simple. Just put your hawk there. And we're just gonna push the mortar back in. I'm gonna go and move along and just continue doing this all the way. And we wanna push it in just so it's proud off the brick so there we go it looks quite scruffy but that's fine so we'll point it in to that depth as you can see we've already done this section here all we're going to do once it's dry we're going to scrape off the excess muck and we're going for a pointing bar finish on this because it's a newer bit of brickwork so it's just a case of pointing up like normal tucking and tailing which is where your perp joint just gets tidied up into your bed joint and then in a little while we'll do the final bit of titivating which is tidying up and then give it a nice brush and polish up all the bricks so in typical english weather fashion it started raining however we have finished pointing these top seven courses so right now because these are engineering bricks they get dirty really easy but they also buff up really easy. So what I'm using is a damp towel on one side and a dry towel on the other, just to rub any smear marks we've got. So you can see here how like there's just a couple of mortar marks. So what we do, we just run along buffing up 
anywhere where we're smudged because like I say, these engineering bricks, they do smudge easily, but they also buff up easy. And then we just swap to our dry side of the towel, give it a nice rub. And then that leaves a really nice, clean, sharp finish for the client and the job. Right, there we go. So we have finished pointing, polishing the bricks, and we've had a right good tidy up. I always like to try and leave a job cleaner than I found it. It's good for us, and the client really likes it, and you're just more likely to get more trade and business from it. Anyway, if you guys are interested in these shorter videos, we've got to try and go for a new format. We've still got to be doing the weekly videos, but more informational, shorter videos, and I'll start doing them. So if you do like it, give us a thumbs up. Any questions, leave it in the comment section below. I will get back to everyone. And if you're interested in any of the products we used, especially the gloves, uh, I'll leave a list of all the materials and products we used, and I'll leave my special link for the gloves. Anyway, on that note, I'll catch you guys in the next one.